All men are bastards, potential rapists, psychological torturers. Teddy on, darling, that's a bit harsh. Ever heard of the phrase tarred with the same brush? You can't go around making assumptions about every man on the basis of a couple of bad apples. Now, what's brought this on? A couple of bad apples. If it was just a couple of bad apples, how come I've had a whole orchard of the ogres? Roger, Ryan, David, Stephen, Mia, Desmond. Oh, you are sensitive, darling. I liked all of your exes. Well, apart from David and Brian and Desmond. But why are you bringing all of this up? Did you bump into one of them? Stirred the muddy waters of the memory? Something like that? It's Julian. Julian? What has he done? He... He... Good God, he hasn't hit you, has he? Why would you say that? If he has... We'll set your father on him, then he'll be sorry. Very sorry indeed. No, he... Not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? It was an accident. I'm sure it was. Not like Stephen did when I called out David's name by mistake. Stephen hit you? I knew I didn't like him. Mother, do you like any men? Daddy accepted, of course. I like Julian. So what has Julian done then? He, he was cruel to me. Oh, darling, all men are cruel. It's their cavemen natures. I don't think you can do anything about that. It's like trying to teach a very old dog new tricks. It's just not possible. Was daddy ever cruel to you? Well, there may have been one time. I'm, I'm sure it was my own fault. You know how silly I can be. What did he do? Nothing, darling. It doesn't matter now. And we're not talking about me, we're talking about you. What's poor Julian done to you, Poppet? He's not poor, Mummy. He's a barrister. But what has he done? We were having a conversation. A debate, really while we were preparing for bed about the Prime Minister's latest gaffe and his suitability for office. And I said he was a prick and an embarrassment to the country and that Julia Gillard would never have said something like that. He told me not to be so bloody stupid. And I said, I'm not bloody stupid. I'm entitled to my own opinion. And I think Julia Gillard did a very decent job compared to this lot when when he stuffed his sock in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> it's not funny, mommy. <laughs> no, not, no, of course it's not. <laughs> but the thought you think that ghastly woman was doing a good job is, that you're right. It's not funny, darling. If he'd have wanted you to put a sock in it, he should have told you to be quiet, not, oh, was it clean? No. It was one he'd just taken off his smelly feet. It was sweaty and awful and I didn't like it. I didn't think Julian was like that. Oh, he isn't normally, is he? Well, I would have said no. But now I think of it, all the little things he does. Like what? Like shutting me down at parties, talking over me, not respecting my opinions, patronizing me, my, you are being a little missensitive today, aren't you? Mother, I know you really like Julian, but he criticises everything I do. My cooking, my clothes, all sorts of things. God forbid we ever get married. He'd probably insist I stay home and ration my housekeeping money. He's a man, darling, and a very successful one at that. What's that got to do with anything? He just wants to be the provider. Like I told you, they're all cavemen. He's a hunter and gatherer, and you're... You're... I'm what? I'm my own person, aren't I? Why shouldn't I have the right to express my own opinions? Or dress how I like without some snide comment or look shooting me down? 
Really, darling, it sounds like you're making a big fuss over nothing. Nothing. Nothing? Starving me of affection until I do what he wants is nothing? I have needs too, you know. Oh dear, you sound like one of those feminists. You're not, are you? Mother. Well, they're all so unattractive, aren't they? Maybe that's why Julian's been like he is. Maybe if you were more, like, less feminist and more feminine. Mother! Well, I don't know what else to say. Have you tried talking to him? I mean, well, what did he say after the sock incident? He laughed. And, and we had sex. <laughs> oh, well, at least he saw to your uh, needs. Made it up to you quickly enough. Well, not too quickly, I hope. Mother, I... I didn't want to have sex. Oh. What, what are you saying, darling? He... He writes me, Mum. My boyfriend writes me. There. I've said it. That's a strong term, darling. I'm sure he didn't mean it. Not like that. He loves you. That much is obvious. I said no. No should mean no. Well, had he been drinking? A little. We had a little wine with dinner. Actually, I had one glass. He finished off the bottle. Well, well that would explain it. I'm sure he wouldn't have done anything like that if he'd been sober. But that doesn't excuse his behaviour, does it? I mean, we can't all go around saying, I'm sorry, I can't possibly be held accountable for my actions because I was drunk. Don't be facetious, darling. Now you're sounding like Julian. Julian has a deeper voice, darling. Not respecting my opinions, I mean. Darling, I do respect your opinions. You're my darling angel. But really, all relationships have their little ups and downs. Julian's a nice boy, and you seem to suit each other perfectly. I'm sure after a good night's sleep, things will seem better in the morning. But if they're not, go we'll set your father on him. Your father won't take kindly to his little princess being treated badly by her prince. Don't tell Daddy I'm having difficulties with Julian. He behaved awfully to Desmond, and... I don't want the same sort of scene. But whatever you say, darling, it's your life and you must live it as you see fit. But remember, we're always here for you. I'm glad you said that. It's quite all right, darling. Because I was going to ask if I could come stay for a few days. <sighs> That's, it's not terribly convenient right now. Look, any other time, of course, darling, but I have so much to do at the moment. It should be all right in four or five days. Look, next week, certainly. Why not come round then, say, next Thursday? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, darling. Come and stay next week. Look, next week is fine. But, Mummy, I'm scared. <laughs> sorry, darling. What was that? You mumbled. Don't mumble. You haven't mumbled since you were a child. What did you say? What if I have more trouble with Julian? I'm sure you won't. But just tell him we'll set your father on him, seen or no seen. He's old school, your father, believes in firm guidance, a strong hand. So if that Julian is cruel to you again, you just pick up the phone, okay, darling? Okay. I'd better go. Julian will be home soon. Yes. I'd better go get your father's dinner on. You know what he's like if his dinner's late? Gets a bit grumpy. Nothing I can't handle, though, darling. But speak soon. I love you. I love you too. Bye.